everyone, it's Ella. Welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to run through everything you need to know before you go to Little America. I went to this park in September of 2020, so all the information in this video will be based from that visit as well as the information on the park's website. If you want to see our experience at Little America, I'll link the video to the vlog we did from our visit above. Without further ado, let's get into it. Little America is located in Marshall, Wisconsin, which is about a 30 minute drive from Madison, an hour drive from Milwaukee, and about two hours from Chicago. Marshall is a pretty small town and there's not really any public transportation that goes there, so you really don't have much choice but to drive to this park. If you're planning on including this park as part of a roller coaster road trip, Six Flags Great America is just under two hours away, and Mount Olympus is about an hour from Little America, so it's definitely feasible to include this park in a larger trip. Little America does not have a general admission fee, so it's free for anyone to enter the park. Guests do have the option to buy ride tickets, which are $1.50 each. Most rides are one ticket, except Meteor, which is two tickets, and the go-karts, train, and mini golf, which are all three tickets. Little America also offers four different wristbands for unlimited rides, which is the option we chose when we went to the park. The wristbands are designed to correlate with the height of the guest, so the wristbands for shorter guests are less expensive since there's less rides that they can go on, and so on. We got the blue wristband, which is for guests over 42 inches, but for $4 more you can upgrade to a gold wristband, which includes mini golf and go-karts. I actually really liked this pricing system because it allows you to pay only for what you ride, and the limited ride wristband is a really good value, especially if you plan on staying all day. The food at Little America is your standard theme park food, so your pizza, burgers, that type of thing. The main restaurant is in a building right by the entrance that sadly I don't have any footage of, and that is also the gift shop, if you can really call it a gift shop. They really just have a t-shirt for their figure eight coaster meteor, and a few hats as the only merchandise for the park. There's also a food stand near their kitty land area, but again, it's really nothing out of the ordinary. However, Little America does allow you to bring in your own food, which is a nice option to have. They don't check bags or have metal detectors at the entrance, which has both its pros and cons, but it does make the food situation a little better. Little America has a total of 26 rides, four of which are roller coasters. One of these is Swiss Toboggan, which is a chance toboggan, and there's hardly any of those left in operation, so it's definitely a rare credit. There's also a classic wooden figure eight coaster named Meteor and a Wild Mouse. However, this Wild Mouse is unique in that it doesn't have any seatbelts. There's also a kiddie coaster called Little Dipper in the corner of the park that has their kids rides. In addition to some of the standard flat rides like a Scrambler and a Tilt-A-Whirl, they do have some vintage rides as well that you don't see at a lot of other places. One of these is their Roloplane called Bus Pilot, which in my opinion is the most thrilling ride in the park. They also have a parachute ride, and you don't see a lot of those around anymore, so definitely check it out if you're there. Some other flat rides I'd recommend checking out are the monorail, which gives you a great view of the park, and the train, which actually goes around the park and outside of it to do a two-mile loop around the Wisconsin countryside, so you get some nice views of the surrounding area. The loose article policy is pretty lax. Granted, most of the rides here aren't that extreme, so the odds of you losing something on a ride are pretty minimal, but as always, do proceed with caution when bringing your items on a ride, and always ask ride ops before using your phone or camera on a ride. I was able to ride everything with my fanny pack on, and my friend who brought a bag with her was able to leave it on the ground or on the ride platform when she needed to. Now, as someone who's been a ride operator before, I will say that there's a few things that did give me concerns when we were riding some of the rides at the park. For a small park, operations were actually pretty decent in terms of speed. However, the operators were somewhat unprofessional at times, such as being on their phones when they weren't cycling the ride and stuff like that. When we rode Little Dipper, the kitty coaster, they didn't check our restraint at all, so our lap bar was raised when the ride started ascending the lift hill. I did pull it down myself and check my own restraint, but considering that we were on a kid's ride, that's a pretty big red flag for me. So I would recommend always double checking your restraint if you visit here. Another thing that happened to us when we rode Test Pilot, when we exited the ride, there was a different operator than when we started the ride. So at some point they switched operators while the ride was cycling. 
which at least at Cedar Point where I worked, that's definitely something we're not supposed to do at all as ride operators. Now I know that different parks have different standards for their ride ops, but that was just another thing that concerned me. Another thing that I was cautious about is that there's no guardrail around the train when it goes inside the park, so anyone can really jump in front of it and potentially get injured. Considering how many kids were at the park when we went, that was pretty concerning for me, so definitely keep a close eye on any kids you might have with you if you visit here. Little America is open from Memorial Day to mid-September. They do have an event in October where you can take a train to a pumpkin patch, but they don't operate any other rides during that event. We went in September and didn't really experience too many crowds. I've never been in the summer, so I can't speak for crowds during that season, but my guess is that you will see more crowds in the summer since that's their peak season. We spent maybe half a day here. It's a small park, so you probably don't need a full day. I would recommend roping this park in with a trip to Mount Olympus or Six Flags Great America. There's really not any major hotels in Marshall. There is a campground that's pretty close to the park, so that's an option if you're into camping, but if not, I would recommend staying in a hotel closer to a major city. So that's going to conclude it for this video on Little America. If you have any questions about the park or there's something that I didn't cover, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to everyone. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.